Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we will be talking about how to use Gmail, Calendar and Drive while being offline. Let's first start with Gmail. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that the functionality has been enabled in Gmail. For that go to the wheel, go onto settings, and then make sure you go under the offline tab. Once you're in the offline tab hit the enable offline checkbox. Once you've done that, you'll see that you'll have additional settings to configure. Let's look at the synchronizing settings. You can choose for how long stored emails should be synchronized. So here we can say that we would want um, emails from the last 30 days to be stored. You can also select the attachments to be downloaded as well or not. The last question is a, a security question. Now, if you are working from a personal computer, from a corporate computer, and it's a safe computer, you can definitely just go ahead and take that first option over there. If you are accessing your information from a shared computer, so from a hotel lobby, for example, or from a cyber cafe, make sure that you select um, the second option so that no data of yours is um, stored in the cache. Here, this is a safe computer, and I'm just going to hit the save changes and go ahead with it. Now, how does it work? If you're working offline, how do you access your Gmail? Well, you just need to make, make sure, first of all, that you save your um, link, so your, your URL, to your favorites on your browser. So once you open up your browser while you're offline, you just click on that saved bookmark and you'll have access to your Gmail. It's as simple as that. You need to make sure um, that you know that trash and spam, those are not available offline. Any emails that you write offline will be synchronized and sent only once you access the internet once again. Okay. Other than that, it's quite a very easy functionality to use in Gmail. Um, and yeah, make sure that you try it out. Let's move on to Calendar. Calendar doesn't really have an offline functionality. It will be used as a view only. So you will not be able to create new events, but you can respond and modify existing and well old events that were already synchronized. So there's really not, nothing very specific for calendar. You can also save the bookmark um, in your browser so that it's easy to access whenever you want. Next up, Drive. So in Drive, you do have an offline functionality that you need to enable. For that, let's go to the wheel and then click on Settings. Once you're in the settings under the offline section, just make sure that you check that box and then hit the done. There are a couple of things that you need to know in Drive. The shared with me section, this will not be available offline. So this is something that you just need to know in case you um, will be looking for information in here. The other thing that you also need to know is that all non-Google applications um, such as a PowerPoint or a Word document, those will not be available offline. So if you do need to work on those documents, make sure to remember to download them on your machine um, before going offline. The last thing that you need to know is that collaborating using the offline version is not um, the best idea. If you are working with a colleague on the same document, your colleague is online, you are offline, and you're both working on the same document, your changes and modifications will only be synchronized, of course, once you are connected to the internet. So that might cause some issues, um, especially if you are making big modifications to the document. So um, the offline mode is not the preferred option if you are collaborating on the same file with a team or with a colleague. Just bear that in mind um, in case that uh, should happen to you. And that's more or less it. Um, I hope this video was useful and helpful as well. If you have further questions, let us know. Bye!